Hey everybody, this is Kulal. I hope you're all doing good. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about system manager automation. Uh, the automation I mean that you run certain actions against the resources. In my case, in our, this video will be EC2 instances. Uh, I just want to point out one thing that before you start watching this video, that make sure you that you have your instances set up in system manager. That is the only way you could uh, you could perform this uh, steps I'm gonna demonstrate shortly. So what is automation? Automation is essentially, you know, you automate certain tasks that, you know, run periodically or uh, that wouldn't require any man manual intervention. So in AWS and System Manager, automation is consists of two components. The one is Runbook and the second is Automation Service. Uh, Runbook is essentially a set of instructions or steps that will Automation Service use to execute. You define as many as steps you need. Um, for instance, the step could be to stop the instance. The second step could be, uh, sorry, first step would be stop instance. Second step could be to create AMI image. And you could have like, you know, a bunch of steps described in a run book and automation service will grab that uh, instructions and execute against the resources that you will specify. So yeah, that's about it. So uh, in simple terms, uh, Let's look into um, some of the examples that I have. The first one is I'm going to use a predefined runbook provided by Amazon. And the second is that the runbook that I built uh, to create AMI images at scale. Okay, so I'm logged into my AWS account. Uh, I'm in system manager now. I'm going to go to the fleet manager. Uh, I see two of my nodes listed here and these are the two nodes I will be performing all of my automation actions against. Um, so let's go to automation service now. And the first thing it does that it asking you to execute automation. So once you click on this one, it's going to take you to this new window where it's looking for a run book. Automation itself is it's just a service. It's, it's a facilitator for a run book to execute. And I want to also point out there are like a lot of uh, run books that are being provided by Amazon um, to do just basic tasks. So like, you know, you see this one, attach EBS volume. Uh, there are tons of um, AWS provided um, run books. Uh, one thing I also want to point out that, um, you know, the run book is the new name Amazon is referring to. And previously, uh, in still a lot of places, you will see it is being called AWS documents. So. It's looking for a document. Documents and books, essentially both of them are the same thing. So I'm gonna, in my first example, I'm going to use Amazon provided a run book. So let's look for the simple one. So I just search it restart um, and going to restart the instance. Uh, let's look into Runbook's content. It Runbook follows uh, a syntax. So the first thing you have to provide the description, the schema, uh, the point of Point three is the latest one, and assume role. Uh, one thing about the assume role is that uh, if you're running any run books that are being provided by Amazon, you don't need to specify uh, any um, any any role, as long as the person who's executing that run book has the permissions to perform actions against the resources. In my case, I am an admin. I'm logged in as an admin and I do have permissions to perform all these actions. Um, so like stop instance. So the runbook's gonna utilize my permissions. There's a one caveat. So if you are, if you, in the next example, we are going to build our own runbook. Uh, and in that you will notice that we may have to specify the assume role for particular inst uh, action types. So, so uh, like this, this is action type for a runbook. Uh, there are like a f few action types are available. The most powerful one, in my opinion, is the uh, script one and the, the, there's the AWS API call, which essentially allows you to communicate with um, any services using the AWS API calls. Um, so we'll cover that in the next example, but for now, let's just uh, uh, execute. Um, here's, here's, you have like a tons of, like a four option on how you want to execute your runbook. Uh, you could manually select them. Uh, this is something you wouldn't do in your uh, production environment. Uh, so the rate control is the preferred way for a lot of people to run the runbooks. 
you once you go into the rate control uh, and the parameters so uh, instead of IDs this is something was specified in the runbook so you select what kind of instances where you, how you're gonna provide the instant IDs for this runbook. So I'm gonna select tag, or I could just select all instances. So tags are the best way to go for. Essentially, like, you know, you may apply tags to 10 instances, and then you use those tags to uh, perform the actions again. So in my case, I'm just gonna select all instances, and zoom role, I don't need to specify. And there's the one thing I'm gonna point out, rate control. Uh, how many instances that you want to perform the action against at any given time uh, you could describe the percentage uh, I could just say 100% uh, or error threshold like essentially it means that if you're running a run command against 10 instances um, at what point you want this the entire execution to stop um, you could again define the percentage so I'm just gonna say 50% if 50% of my uh, executions are failing I would like to stop this uh, execution so in my case I specify everything in here and execute so now it's I'm gonna also go into EC2 console to just to demonstrate as you could see it's already working so it's stopping my instances and it's gonna bring them back up uh, soon so I'm gonna pause my video wait for them to come back and then we look into the second example um, there's a uh, I also like to uh, quickly point out that you know once you have executed while your command is running uh, there are executed steps are described to uh, and uh, you could just kind of view your executed step for particular instance IDs or against particular resource uh, and uh, that will give you the kind of status on the particular step or the resource that's running against so let's take a go back here and I see that the status is changing all right, the one is already in the running running state. Other one is being re, uh, being started. So I'm just gonna pause for like another thirty seconds and come back. Alrighty, so in the next example, I want to demonstrate the run book that I built and I will just kind of walk you through how you could build your own. So when coming here, this is the one I built it. I will explain the code shortly. So let's go to the documents and create documents and you select the automation uh, and you just name your you know essentially what you want to name the document uh, or your run book uh, and in here you will specify if the role is required or input parameters uh, all these things are available in the console and this is where you see all the steps that runbook will execute you know you could have a multiple steps uh, the first step could be essentially stopping the instance the second the second step could be to take the ami images of those instances these are the some of the actions that you regularly perform when you uh, perform the patching uh, so uh, like having multiple steps is really helpful. Uh, in my case, in the in the previous document that we used by provided by Amazon, let's take a look at that. It has a um, a multi-step document as well. Um, let's take a quick look at that. Um, I'll come back here, and as you see, the first one, the first step was to stop instances, and the second step was to start instances. So now let's go back to the one I was creating. So. Uh, you could do, use a builder or you could switch to the editor so in my case i already have it the content so i'm going to paste in here so what is this doing uh, so this uh, runbook essentially using the aws execute script type um, python handler and the function name and then the script i'm essentially running a script against my resources so what it's doing is that it's grabbing the instant ids from the parameter that i have described up here and then it's executing certain um, response against those instant ids so in, in this case it gets the instant id uh, and then it creates a my image of those um, instances so let's click create automation um, and now they'll show up in the on by me tab so this is the one i just created uh, this is the one the default version am i so before i execute i want to quickly demonstrate you can always update your run books you just all you have to do is just click on action and create a new version so once you click on the new version just you also have to change your default version in case your run book is being used by automation 
um, and let's now let's execute this one so I'm executing this one uh, and I'm just gonna use the read control again parameters instant IDs target I'm gonna select all um, I'm gonna set 100% and 100% uh, oh yeah that'll work uh, execute so now let's go into my ec2 console and see if the ama images are being prompted up here there we go so it was super quick uh now my ama images are being created um so this is all i wanted to kind of show you guys i want to quickly talk about the aws apps action type so if you go to let's quickly go back in here um where is the documents create document automation and these are the action types so the run script is the one i just use um, you could use it in uh, webhook integration there is a running against wait for aws properties essentially you may have some sort of a resource you wanted to come back up before performing the next step uh, there is a uh, running api actions again so you essentially select the type that um, and then you kind of describe the actions that you will perform again so selecting an incident like sorry action types makes things a lot easier um i just if you notice here there is a uh, action type available which is create amazon uh, machine image but this only performed the action against a single instance so that was the reason i built the script uh, so that i could perform the ami images I create Im images at scale the script that i have in here that could perform the action against tens or hundreds of instances at uh, any given time so all right so this is it for today thank you for watching um and the next up video i will be demonstrating the patching of these instances and we will see this automation actions in uh, in action essentially and uh, being utilized effectively thank you Thank you for watching again. Um, if you like the video, please consider subscribing and uh, like the video. Thank you.